What's up, peeps, and welcome back to the Lionel B Show. It's your first time tuning into the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos, man. Also, make sure y'all click that notification bell button so anytime I drop a brand new video, y'all be the first ones to get it. Now, it looks like the homie, man, Kodak Black cannot stay out of trouble, man, or either that or trouble just always finds him. Now, y'all know he was just recently released, man. He did about seven months, man. He was locked down. He came out, you know what I'm saying, all chubby. He was eating good over there, you know, doing a couple of push-ups here and there. And, you know what I'm saying, he gets out, man. And, you know what I'm saying, trouble finds him, man. So, apparently, there's a little thought that he's alleged to have sexually assaulted, man, back in 2016. And if the judge hands down the gavel on him on that particular case right there, man. Now, he is looking at 30 years in prison. Now, a lot of people are looking at the thing like, okay, man, that's kind of similar to 6 9 You know what I'm saying? That's kind of similar to Ty Dolla Sign. Like, they're all, all facing major time. They're all young rappers, man, and they're all doing a whole bunch of wild shit. And just, you know what I'm saying, trouble. You, they just can't really stay out of trouble. It's really wild, man. I don't even understand it. You know what I'm saying? You're making a lot of money. Like, why don't you just chill the fuck out? Fuck them hoes. It's a period that, you know what I'm saying, he is scheduled to be in court April 2019. So in the spring, man, he will find out his actual fate. Now, a lot of people are saying, man, that, you know what I'm saying, he's Haitian, so he's doing some voodoo stuff or whatever the case may be, man. He's actually, you know, able to kind of get wiggle out of trouble for a lot of things, man. But, you know what I'm saying, if there's any truth to these allegations, man, and if he is found guilty... He's going up the road for a very long time, man. Just like 6 9 It's crazy, man, because I am a fan of Kodak Black, man. I do like his music. Now, also, with Kodak Black, man, he's been kind of wow. Ever since he's been out of prison, man, he went on so many different crazy rants, man. He's getting arrested here and there. He's talking some real gibberish type stuff. I don't know. I think somebody personally did something to him. He kind of lost his mind a little bit. But Kodak Black is one of the... One of the rap celebrities, bro, that actually lost his blue check mark on Instagram. Now, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't even know this is a real page. I'm looking at the page. I'm like, okay, yeah, that's a lot of followers on there. But I'm like, where the hell is the blue check mark? How can we verify this is really Kodak Black? He's got 6.9 million followers on Instagram. And what it is is, man, Instagram actually took away his blue check because he actually filmed his homie getting head on his Instagram. So instead of Instagram shutting down the entire you know what I'm saying, profile for Kodak Black, they just took away his damn blue check. And I'm like, bro, that's kind of like, they took a stripe from you. It's like you're in the military. They're going to take a damn stripe and demote you. So I don't know if he'll ever get, the, you know what I'm saying, the check mark back. We're going to have to see. going to have to maybe lurk on his page, see what's going to go down. But yeah, man, what do y'all feel about this, man? Do y'all feel like Kodak Black really piped that thought down, man? Do you feel like he threw on the bed, threw on the flow? and assaulted her i mean shit he's a rap dude like does he really have to do that did he do that y'all let me know what y'all feel about it man don't forget to like comment and subscribe on the videos and i'll peep y'all on the next one holla